know that million. Do you have gold fever? Pan for gold nuggets by moving Carlos with your left and right arrow keys. Flip the sister by pressing the space bar. Good luck. Why do they call this sandstone? I don't see much sand. Sandstone is made of a lot of sand that got squished together millions of years ago. That's one way of making sedimentary rock. Wahoo! Here we are at a favorite of mine, a mighty fine mountain. But there's more here than meets the eye. Wow, I can see the crystals in this rock because they're so big. Welcome! Do you feel like helping Arnold find the missing samples from his rock and mineral collection? First, Listen closely. There are three kinds of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Arnold is missing one of each, and he's also missing a mineral. Now, check out those four empty spaces in Arnold's collection box. Click on one to hear your first clue about the missing samples. There is a whole area of earthquakes and active volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean. If you look at this area on the globe, you can see that it forms a circle. This circle is called the Ring of Fire. It shows where the Pacific Ocean plate is running into other plates, forming earthquakes and volcanoes. You can do some really great stuff at the geo table. Click on a rock and move it to the table. Then use the tools to examine it. Click on me if you need help using the geo table. Welcome to my geo table. The first thing to do is to wash off your sample. Then use the magnifier to see if it's a rock or a mineral.
So that samples a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to find out which one. Exactly! This mineral is so hard that the streak test doesn't work. It leaves behind no color. Because the nail scratched the mineral, we know that the hardness of the mineral isn't more than six and a half. This mineral is too hard to be scratched by the coin. This mineral is too hard to be scratched by the coin or the pocket knife. Great job! You used the tools here to identify potassium feldspar, which is also called orthoclase. This mineral doesn't leave behind a streak, and it has a hardness of six. Another sample? Okay, wash it off. Then find out if it's a rock or mineral by using your magnifier. That sample is a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to identify it. Neat, huh? That mineral leaves behind the color white. Hmm, the coin scratched the mineral. The coin has a hardness of only two and a half. That means the mineral can't be very hard. Nice work. You use these tools to identify halite, which leaves a white streak so you can't see it on the tile and has a hardness of two. Guess what? Halite is another name for salt. You know the geo table routine. Wash off your sample first, and then use the magnifier to use the rock and mineral. That sample is a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to identify it. Neat, huh? That mineral leaves behind the color white. Hmm. The coin scratched the mineral. The coin has a hardness of only two and a half. That means the mineral can't be very hard. I'm impressed. You just use these tools to identify calcite. It's a mineral that leaves behind a white streak and has a hardness of two and a half. That's not a rock or a mineral. Take it to the transformer and turn it into something we can examine. You know the geo table routine. Wash off the sample first, and then use the magnifier to see if it's a rock or mineral. That sample is a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to identify it. Exactly! This mineral is so hard that the streak test doesn't work. It leaves behind no color. This mineral is too hard to be scratched by the coin. Oh boy! This mineral is too hard to be scratched by any of the objects on the geo table. Sometimes, a lack of test results can help you identify minerals, like this sapphire, which is corundum. It has a hardness of 9, which means it's too hard to leave a streak on the porcelain tile. The only thing that it could scratch is a diamond. Another sample? Okay, wash it off, and then find out if it's a rock or mineral by using your magnet. That sample is a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to identify it. Yep, that mineral leaves a gray color on the tile. Hmm, the coin scratched the mineral. The coin has a hardness of only two and a half. That means the mineral can't be very hard. Congratulations! You used the tools here to identify Galena. Galena leaves a gray color on the streak test and has a hardness of two and a half. Also, its crystals form perfect cubes. You know the geo table.